Hi guys, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture again in overcast, muggy, damp, not sunny, Sydney. Anyway, today we're going to have a look at this piece. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Any ideas? Maybe I should just do videos first and just ask you what should I do to, with this and then roll with that. What do you reckon? Anyway, let's have a go. This was a side of the road find. It's actually in really good condition. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to find underneath that, but it'll, it should sand up really nicely. It looks like there's probably a lot of red in there. We'll see how we go. Drawers are on right runners. It's solid wood. As usual, I have no idea what I'm going to do with her. All I do know is I need to get those drawer pulls off. I just need to fill these four holes. For that I will use Dixie Bell Mud in brown. I'm using the Festool R0150 on this top. Now when I first had this, I actually thought it was too powerful for me, but as I've used it more, it is my go-to. So I've got this one and I've got the ETS EC125, which is much lighter and not as powerful. So I use that for smaller jobs, but I'm going more and more now to the R0150 now that I've got a little bit more control over it. I generally keep the speed at about two. That's how powerful it is. And you still have to hold on tight. We've got a bit of a mixed bag here. I love this area with all the knots, but you see here we've got black in the green. No amount of sanding is gonna get, get rid of that. It's probably one of the most common questions I get. If I carry on sanding, will this go? Probably not. I'm using the Festool R090 here. That's the one that's got the two attachments. It's got the round one or this detail one. I love this sander. It's light, it's easy to use, and it gets into those difficult areas a lot easier than any that I've used in the past. I've got it laying down and I've got the sander out, I'm just scuff sanding it rather than hand sanding it which is how I usually do it. Time to get painting and I've decided on Dixie Bell Silk in the colour Nautical. I'm using my Sleek Brush, the Sleek 38 which has been cut off. Coverage is also really good. This will be two coats. It's silk, so it's got the built in primer and top coat. Perfect for flipping. So, you all know who my painting partners are my furry painted partners, Bailey and Harper. Do you have any? filled the holes I can still see them so I'm gonna give it another pass with Dixie Bell mud so there it is after I've put the mud on and now it's nice and flat and you can see there's actually quite a bit that, that was missed on the first run or not missed but it sank and I couldn't notice that before I started painting so this is quite common and I've just sanded it back by hand and now I'm just gonna paint straight over that I'm so excited. I just made my own stencil for the front of this door using my new Cricut Explore 3. It was so much easier than my mind had told me it was gonna be. Here it is, made to measure. How cool is that? So 
and now I just need to take it off the backing. So I thought I was filming them, but apparently not. Anyway, all that I'm doing is peeling off the transfer tape. Just need to be careful when you get to these pointy ends that nothing's lifting. Yes! I did it! I used the cricket. I made something. Right? I'm gonna like paint in that stencil. I'm going to use Dixie Belle Cashmere. This is the fall range that they brought out this year. I'm not sure if they're gonna continue. I hope they do, because they're beautiful colors. And with this, I'll also create a wash for the top. I know this seems like a really simple thing to some people, but I'm just so stoked that I've made a custom stencil for a piece of furniture. The possibilities with this are endless. guys and tell me what your favorite pieces that you've done recently how relaxing is watching this guys sorry to chirp in and, and talk as it's happening but i could watch this all day so i've just put this tiny amount of paint in here I'm gonna water it right down. Applying this with the Dixie Belle Gator Hide sponge or the Dixie Belle Blue sponge, whatever you want to call it. I rarely use it for Gator Hide, I always use it for stains. Here's a quick tip for you, make sure the drill is straight before you start drilling. That looks terrible, I've only noticed it when I'm editing. I got these draw pulls from Sleek Brushes, you can go to their website sleekbrushes.com.au They've got quite a large variety now and I just brushed over these with the cashmere stain. Here's a quick reminder of what this piece looked like before we started on it. I'm always shocked, even though I've been the one working on it, I'm always shocked when I look back at the before and afters to see how much difference it makes, just a bit of paint. And here she is, all finished. I absolutely love her. I really do. That stencil, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I know I'm excitable, but I love it. I love my Cricut Explore 3. Thanks so much for sticking with me, guys. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.